Hey guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to talk about data. So how does all of this plug back into marketing? Well, if you can understand how to use these three data sources as a marketer, it makes you so much more powerful as a marketer and also it'll make your job just a lot easier too. So you'll know what you need to be marketing and promoting to who and also why so those three points are huge for a marketer the three different types of data sources are number one sales data this is pretty self-explanatory it's just if you can understand the historical sales trends it makes your job as a marketer a little bit easier so for instance if handbags are selling well that means that your handbags are filling some kind of need out in the marketplace. And that's some validation that you're, you sh could, should go ahead and market that more. Data source two, so demographic data. This gets into not what is being sold, but who is buying it and the information around that. So we've identified that handbags are selling really well well, what if those handbags are selling really well amongst women in Texas? Now that makes your job even easier as a marketer because you know where to be spending your marketing dollars. Instead of in, across the entire United States, you have one specific state to focus down on. So that means you're going to be getting most likely a much higher return on investment for your marketing dollars. And the third data point, psychographic data, this gets into the why. So, it, and a lot of times this data source is survey data. So you, of those people who are buying your product, you send them a survey and then they answer questions about why they're buying your product or some type of psychology of, you know, what their purchase behavior or their likes and their preferences. So an example of the type of insight you can get from psychographic data is that maybe these women in Texas are buying your handbags because they care about price and your handbag is the lowest price. So don't you think that if the reason they're buying your handbag is low price, that that should be front and center in a lot of your marketing campaigns for that specific item? Oh yes, I wholeheartedly agree on that. So I've quickly given you an example of how these three data sources can work in conjunction to help you get hyper-focused on building out this fictitious character who you need to be focusing on. So that about wraps it up for the data. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy marketing, you guys.